This resident is furious that she and thousands of other people have been snowed in for a week now, unable to get food, supplies, or medication. Please, we are begging you, send help. We need help. This is not a joke. Well, I'm definitely going to get some hate from this video, I'm sure. But what I want to know is, who the hell is she furious at? The only one that has put her and her family in that situation is her. This is what happens when you decide to depend on the government and not yourself. This is what happen, happens when you sit back and you watch all the devastation going on around you. When you watch people suffering from forest fires having their homes burned down. When you watch floods taking over entire, entire states and watching people's homes get washed away. This is what happens when you sit back and you watch tornadoes and hurricanes blow people's homes away. This is what happens when you sit back and nothing happens to you but you make fun of all of those that are prepared and telling you to prepare. And you're telling us that we're being paranoid. We're being scared. I'm not paranoid. I'm not scared. But look at the boat you're in right now. You're not prepared enough to go one week in your home. Hell, the most amateur of preppers is good to go for at least a month or two or maybe even more. And I'm sure when I get some people on here, oh, you shouldn't kick these people while they're down. There's always somebody down. I'm not kicking anyone. I'm trying to wake some of you people up that think nothing's going to happen to you. That think everything's okay because it hasn't come to your neighborhood. It never will. Now, as you said, they've got thousands begging for help. Hell, we've been on here, hundreds of thousands of us preppers, trying to give you help, trying to give you advice on how, how to make it through stuff like this. And time and time again, I see people like this who will suffer through some kind of emergency like this, and next year we'll let it happen to them again because they didn't think it would happen twice in their lifetime. Preppers aren't paranoid. We aren't scared. We're calm and relaxed because we're prepared. But look how you people act when something happens. You turn to daddy government in hopes that they'll come to your rescue. And what you really don't see is you're playing into their hands because that's what the government and big corporations want. They want you depending on them. They want you scared. Being prepared is about what to do when you're sitting on the side of the road with a flat. It's about what to do when the, the breadwinner of your family has been laid off. It's about what to do when the lights go out for the weekend, it's about what you can do when you get snowed in for 10 days or two weeks. It's about what you're going to do if the grid and internet come down permanently. Being prepared isn't about the end of the world. It's about the end of your world and how you, you and your family are going to manage it.